Now, I'm going to be tying a small uh, scalping pattern. This here. This is the, the pattern I'm going to be tying, and I'm going to be using what they call uh, fish skulls or scalping helmets. There we are. And basically, I'm going to tie this fly just as it describes how to do it in the back. And it's there. That's how I'm going to be tying it. Now, I don't tie a huge amount of these. This is a, the olive version. Uh, it's a brown version. Now, in here in Scotland, uh, we do get a kind of scalping type fish. Well, we used to get lots of them at one time. And we called them birdies because they'd be birds. Uh, and basically, you know, our kids we used to try and catch them. But the the fish do take these, certainly worth a go. Now, I have been asked many times to tie a scalping pattern. Now, instead of using this weighted type head, you could use a deer hair head and weight the hook. But the, with these the skull heads or the sculpting helmets as they call them yeah, they add weight to the fly in position in the right way so now the hook I'm using this is a TMCO TMCO hook now it's a TMC811S saltwater hook and basically you've got to make sure that you can get the sculpting head over the eye so when you ask for these eyes you ask them what one suits and that's the one I'm using anyway I'm just going to use a normal thread nothing special just an old uni thread, you could use a 6 o instead of maybe using 8 o but uh, I'm just going to use the 8 o Now, I'm just going to simply run the thread down until I'm in line with the point of the hook. Then we tie in a strip of Zonka strip, a barred olive. This is the one here. It's a bit, now the way I measured it, uh, got to have some kind of measure. The length of the hook, so twice the length of the hook. So what I do is remove the, the rabbit I don't need, tie it on, in this case upside down and on the top, make sure it's sitting the way you want, and I'm going to say is I'm lying with the, the point of the hook. I trim this head length away from the eye, or the sculpting head length anyway. I'm just going to quickly pinch the thread up and then come back down. Making sure it's going to sit where I want it. Now you could weight this as well. Best to weight the underside of the hook so that it sits right. Let's use a, a lead tape or a lead foil or some sort. Just make sure it's secure. Now I'm going to use the same rabbit for winding up the body. Now it's best to sort of moisten it with your fingers. It's easier to control. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove some of the, the rabbit. Then I'm going to cut this into a point. So we've got a stapled start. And then I'm just going to wind it up and draw back the rabbit as a wind. Nice and tight. But what I'm going to do here, so I get a lot more protection, is to wind over some super glue. As I say, moisten this as you wind. And stroke it back as you go up. Take your time. It will sit back. Now you may add, may have to add an extra half turn just to get the thickness you want near the head. And I'm happy with that. It's a very simple fly to tie. Simple fish anyway. Come in. Now I'm going to use a, a Stanley blade so I get a neater cut. I'm just going to come in here, nice straight cut. Draw it back and then secure. Screw it in and using your nail, just get it to sit the way you want. Now I'm just going to hit it with the hairdryer, just to, I want the fibres to be sitting back here. Give a bit of shape, just get an idea of how it's sitting. And that looks all right. Now I'm going to use a, to continue with the, the barring, I'm just going to use a brown pen, use black if you want. And then just pull this down, this is a permanent marker pen. Just come around. So we drop here a wee bit. Now 
And then I'm going to dry it again using the hair dryer, just there. Then I'm going to brush it. So just get a using a toothbrush here. Yeah. So bring it out. Take the stickiness away from it. There we go. And you get that nice mark again. So it continues up from the tail. Now what I'm going to tie in here is uh, two dyed olive. This is grey partridge feathers. Now these are going to form the fins. Let's look at the length. You don't half the body length. Say I've got both one on top of the other here, so that I can get them matched up. Just make sure the tips are lined up. Here away. So on either side. These have got quite stiff stems, so they're going to they're going to separate for you. And then we just get the length we want. I'm going to put them both on at the same time. Now with two or three loose turns, so you can just basically position them and get them to sit the way you want. When you're happy, then you can then tighten up. Put the thread right up to the eye. Now these stems you can actually break off. A few turns in there. Now what I'm going to do is it's a wee test run with the, the sculpting helmet, as you see, just to see how it's going to sit. Because I can take the thread back a wee bit. If you're happy with the shape, let's just look at it. That looks that's fine to me. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is whip finish. A simple fly to tie, it really is. Now I'm going to put some super glue, super glue or fish glue or fishing glue, depending on the company, all the way around. Full mill do a fishing super glue, which is really good. Comes with a brush too. Sure you've got plenty on, and obviously making sure that the eyes are going to be on this side. Just push this in, nice and tight. There you go. Now what I'm going to do, you could leave this the way it is, but what I'm going to do is, it's usually a nice light coloured body. Now you could trim it. Seeing that, that looks really nice, but I'm just going to trim away so you can see the skin. So it's just a tad lighter. The underside of a fish is always much lighter, especially one of these. Now I'm going to put on the small, small eyes that comes with it. Now you get these with the uh, the helmet heads, just two small eyes. Now I'm going to oh, drop them in there, set them on, and then I'm going to put some UV resin over it. So pulling off too many here, two together. Position them into the wee grooves where they're supposed to sit. It's fine. Now I'm going to enhance or heighten these up with a UV resin. Just going to make sure that there's, a, there's some onto the metal head part as well. Then I've got a wee drop, there's a wee hole. You can see the wee hole in the top there. I'm just going to Pour some into that as well because it's there. The nozzle fits perfectly into it. And set the resin. And it's not a hard fly to tie or a hard fish. 
Let's just see. Yeah, I'm going to coat that with uh, a fine coat of varnish. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you the shape. And you see, nice shape in the, in the style. Nice shape, oh, it's a nice colour that. And then, I say, just going to coat the, the head with the varnish. Just the eyes. Really pronounced. And there we are, that's the Olive Sculpin. It's really simple to tie, to be honest with you. I mean, there's nothing really to it. Uh, just having this stuff makes it obviously easy. Uh, have a go, try them, see how they go. I'm sure there's many countries that try this and fish these type of flies. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed that.